Hi guys and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about Havoc's brand new album. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it before, but Havoc are a band from Denver, Colorado. Uh, thrash uh, metal is the order of the day. Uh, their brand new album is called Conformicide and it's got a big purple skull head exploding with a cage in it, which is obviously meant to be a metaphor for the repression of society. It's absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of the best records they've ever written. Um, it's coming off the back of Unnatural Selection, um, which was, I mean, it was good. It was cool, but it didn't really have that kind of mm, that you need. Do you know what I mean? The bit where you're like, Ooh, yeah. that's a sick riff. And Conformicide has it in the shed loads. Like there's uh, probably the longest song on the album is called Ingsoc. Um, and it sort of starts off with like a you know a simple drum beat and then it progresses on to this massive kind of mm, I guess proggy thrash kind of thing but it's probably the most expansive thing the band have ever done um, I would definitely say it's one of their best tracks um, and then there's all sorts of stuff on the album master plan uh, what else is there master plan uh, I'm gonna have to get my phone, I think. Ooh. It's the single Hang'em High, which starts off with a kind of uh, typical Nick Shenzielos bass line. For those of you who don't know Nick Shenzielos is, he's their brand new uh, bassist. And he used to be in Job for a Cowboy, but basically the bass is like which is totally different to what you would expect in a thrash album. Um, and it gives this kind of like Victor Wooten sort of like funkiness to it, which is really cool. Uh, really, really interesting. Um, and then you've got songs like Wake Up, where it starts off with kind of, you know, alarm clocks going, babies crying, the cars kind of tooting their horns, you know, like all of this sort of cacophony of noise, which I guess is another kind of analytical thing for the modern day society. Um, I would say that the record is probably, I mean, they've always been semi kind of political, but this is probably the most evidently political, um, especially, you know, from the Repka kind of style artwork, um, where, you know, it's kind of breaking free from the usual conforms, oh, see what I did there, uh, of society. And it's just an absolutely fantastic record from front to back. And it's super long as well. So you'll definitely get your value for money. Um, but I can't really kind of think of anything really at fault. Apart from the production, the production is perhaps a little bit lacklustre. It's just a bit flat, that's all. But bar that, I would say it's pretty, pretty well one of the best albums I've ever done. Um, not to mention, you know, frontman uh, David Vocals is just brilliant. They're, you know, they're exactly where you want him to just be like, those sort of Halfordian kind of highs. Um, even Chuck Schuldiner, you know that cover of Painkiller? Where he's like <laughs> sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic record. It comes out uh, 10th of March via Century Media and I cannot recommend it enough for you guys to get. It's jam-packed full of great riffs, fantastic solos, kind of like Hangar 18 era Megadeth. It's like Havoc's version of Rust in Peace. If you're kind of getting into thrash, this is going to be a fantastic gateway album. And no doubt, probably, I would say one of the best thrash albums of the year, up there with Creator as well, you know, with Gods of Violence. Um, but yeah, if you've liked what I've chatted about, please give me a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Peace.